It's week eight of the 2024 season. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bears and the Commanders, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. And they come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really... Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. And yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 20 carries, 59 yards. There were some signs of life from their ground game last week, but overall, just a so-so performance. Everyone knows they can make a slight improvement how they contribute to this aspect of the offense. Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer, and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane. If they do that, they should get some better numbers produced this week. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack, but they changed that quickly. But did they ever? It was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? Fields. And off balance throw there, and it's going to run up incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. He'll return it from the six. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. So here is Washington now backed up a bit to start their first drive. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. They'll look to throw here on first down. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. Let's go now. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. You look at this Bears defense. They were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking one through the post. Well done. And able to 
break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Carter, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they entered play on a two-game win streak. And then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them. But go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and one. Herbert now on the option. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now a first down throw, Fields, nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Ball and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive. hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. We're scoreless after one. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Fields. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Shoves him aside, and he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
They'll set up to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. It's complete to Cruz. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Ready. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Drop 50. Drop 60. Go. They're going to look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Cruz. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Left side on a dime, and it looks like he's got it. A good pick up there, 22. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Terry McLaurin, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And, Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They'll go again with Herbert. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Down the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he's on to punt for Chicago. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And a Washington offense heading out. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7 to nothing leads. They don't last very long. And they should continue to push the envelope on offense. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Any 
questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. He'll look to throw. Sets up the screen to Robinson. Finding room in midfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Hurry, hurry. This is Elliott. Trucks over it. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. They find some open field here. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 15 yards to pick up, first down Washington. Usually the big fellow is a blocker, a lead back, but he gets the ball on first down. What a surprise for everyone, and as a former safety, if he breaks into the secondary and you see him coming, you just know that's a whole lot of man. You get it. Looking for Cruz, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Meanwhile, Fields throw there complete to Moody. And Moody going to have a Bears first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. The field's throw here into the hands of Moore. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. A solid stiff arm. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Patterson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. This is caught. It's Cruz. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the Commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it's the Ravens out in front as that game moves towards halftime. Lamar Jackson has a touchdown pass. From there, we're off to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. 
And that one is at halftime as they lead the visiting Eagles. Tyler Boyd, a touchdown catch in that first half. Both teams currently making their final adjustments. We're getting ready for the second half. So we'll send it back up to FedEx Field and hand things back over to Brandon Gott. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. So here's Washington now to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. Bulldozes past him. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. They'll look to throw here. Shakes up, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. He's got his man Cruz. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And that's Elliott complete. Into space at the 45. And in the out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. They'll drop the throw. Throw to the right here, taken in by McClellan. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Back to throw again. Allen finds Hyatt. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Rolling to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Flush to his right. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. It's their quarterback. His second TD of the game at 16th on the season. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Now Joey Sly for the point after. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Fields. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. 
We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender. And Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot. But a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And anytime you didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is. Just what you're talking about. Training him to understand this is the amount you have. Make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Second and four. That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McCoy with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Slide for the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now Fields. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, here's Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Here's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 37. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close you're watching the nfl on ea sports back now at fedex field a lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four a lot of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 fields now to throw that's complete right side to commit. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call Receiver PPR? still gets a point there. Yeah. Uh, and you went that far back. No bueno. Well, I'll tell you what. I wish I had their defense on my, on my fantasy game. Gets past one man. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. A play fake, now Fields to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Second and goal at the three-yard line. To throw his fields. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. This likely a must-have. Third and goal. A shotgun snap, fields. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 24-10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 46 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field, was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. I don't think there's any pressure, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball in offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Let's go now. Second down and a little more than a yard here. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And now they'll shift things around. That one looks like he'll throw here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and ten. Ready, 
On play action, they'll throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Draw play, a give to Herbert. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Throwing on third down, Fields. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. Now this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have the Bears first down on what will be a big play there on fourth jump, and long. Angel, angel, angel. From the gun, here's Fields. A throw left side taken in by Kmet. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Fields on first down. Locates Mooney on the out route. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fields throwing again. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Third and two, Fields. the ball away and it falls incomplete. But these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that wait, one, wait, wait. like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Bears first down as he's brought to the ground after a gain of seven, five more than he needed on fourth and two. Dancing to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throwing again is Fields. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Here's third and six. Now it's Fields. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles. But in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear. And they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. 
so for Washington. They level their mark at 4-4 four four on the year.